So I'm just after I've done a nice new hole in the scooter, uh, using this little hole saw here. And I just got to clean through. One thing I forgot to mention in the first part is that you just got to be pretty sure that you've left plenty of clearance at the back here in terms of the width that you've got here just so that the scooter panel is still close to you but I can still accommodate the new socket so that the hole I've just drilled is a little bit rough so I'm just going to file that down and then I'm going to try for size I've just finished uh, drilling the hole, I cleaned up the hole for the socket and uh, I've just attached it there now. It's, it's really simple to stick it on. It's just a case of there's a single screw behind it that's holding it in place there, just for in that little recess in the front of the scooter. And then the the front of it, it's actually got marine written on. So I think it, you know, these are used quite a lot in boats and stuff. If you're doing a bit of DIY work on boats, but I've seen people actually install them in scooters as well for GPS systems and stuff like that. So. I could probably install it up here, but this is actually, I think this is just like a mirror image of where the ignition is. So the ignition's on this side, and then you have kind of a blank thing there, but looking at the size of it, I think it's just a little bit too big. The hole that's there, I think it would overlap here a little bit, so stuck it underneath there. Um, yeah, so this is the, i just show you the solar panel I got in Maplin. Uh, this was... £13 actually got it in special offer. So I was looking at ones on the internet, looking at different solar panels on the internet for, you know, maybe 20, 30 quid. And I saw this one on map and I thought, ah, that'll, that'll do the job for about £13. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was uh, £12.99. So and it came with, came with two different types of connector. Actually, there's this connector here, which is the, it's your normal 12 volt socket. And then it has a little plug here that you can plug out. And it also comes with just the, the usual bog standard sort of alligator clips that you'd sort of clips that's clipped down onto your battery. So I'll just test it here now with my multimeter just to make sure it's working. It's it looks uh, it looks bright in the camera, but it's actually kinda of getting a little bit dull because it's it's coming up in half eight in the evening, so there's not much light. Uh, so I'll just I'll still install it here and just see what we're getting. As you can see there, we're only getting, well actually I've got the terminals the wrong way around, but we're getting 11.6 volts off it, and that's, you know, it's practically, you know, it's, it's very late in the evening, there's not much light around. Um, I tested the panel earlier, it was given 17 volts and direct sunlight, so that's good that that's working anyway. We're getting power to the terminals here, so now it's just a case of uh, crimping two little spades onto this, and then hooking it up to the battery. Um, I might actually install a fuse I see it. I see a lot of the the sockets on the internet actually have inline fuses which is probably a good thing to be honest just in case water gets into the socket or something and starts to uh, starts to short circuit. So um, yeah I've got two little two little speeds here. Uh, I've got these just as a, a part of a crimping set. These are just oh, a little bit of plastic. These are just bog standard electrical connectors, and they're going to fit on top of this, like this, and I'm just going to hook it up to the battery. And then, the whole reason I'm doing that anyway is because the, the battery is probably not a great battery, it's, pr it's a, a, little, a little bit old, I think the battery is like four years old, so it, uh, it can uh, drop off now from time to time, uh, the bike itself can charge it, so uh, every so often I was just sticking it on the battery charger just to keep it topped up. So um, to avoid that and to avoid having to take off the panels here, because every time you want to get out the battery you have to take off six screws in total, there's like one, two, three, four, 
five, six screws that you have to t take off to get at the panel. So I just said, well, if I install a little socket, I can just hook it up straight away. So all I have to do now is the practice get her up. Leave my solder panel sitting out. Drop this. Hook it up. And it'll charge very nicely. So that's how I've done this uh, little bodge here.